Allah sent many prophets to spread the message of Islam. The Quran is a guide for all of Allah's followers and in the Quran there are 25 prophets mentioned. One of these is Prophet Salih Today I'm going to tell you his story. Prophet Salih was born into a tribe called Thamud. The Thamud lived in North Arabia and were known for their beautiful houses that they carved in the mountains. But the Thamud worshipped idols and in particular a large golden idol. However, there was one man in the tribe who was very good and he believed only in Allah. He refused to worship any idols. This man was Prophet Salih's father. He had been given a vision by Allah that one day his son would become a prophet and lead the tribe towards Allah. When the king had heard this, he banished Prophet Saleh's father from the land. Prophet Saleh and his mother had to live alone in the tribe, but together they still worshipped only Allah. One day the angel Jibrail came to the Prophet to tell him he had been chosen as a messenger and must show his tribe that there is only one God and this is Allah. Everyone in the Thamud tribe loved Prophet Saleh and they knew he was wise and good. But when they started being taught by him that there was only one God, they all turned against him. Prophet Saleh tried to explain to them that he loved them and only wanted what was good for them, but they didn't believe him. In those days people lived much, much longer and Prophet Saleh preached to them for 100 years but very few of the tribesmen believed in him. Finally, they agreed that they would accept Allah, but only if they saw a miracle. They told him to show them a she-camel, unlike any other camel. They wanted the camel to be strong and beautiful and give enough milk to the whole tribe. Her milk had to be cool in the summer and warm in the winter, but she was only allowed to drink from the well every other day. She also had to speak to them and tell them that there is only Allah and he has sent the tribe of Prophet Saleh Prophet Saleh agreed to show them the camel they had asked for as long as they did not harm or ride her. They agreed and said they would believe if he brought such a camel. The town was brought to the tribe and after a rumble in the mountains she appeared. She spoke and told them to believe in Allah and that Prophet Saleh was their messenger. Many of the tribe believed when they saw and heard, but a few were not happy and wanted to keep the power for themselves. They decided to kill the camel so people would start to follow them instead. They killed her and when the news reached the Prophet and his followers, they cried in heartache. Allah told the Prophet to warn the unbelievers that in three days they will get punished. Allah had given them three days to repent but instead they plotted to kill the Prophet. When the unbelievers in the tribe woke up on the fourth day, they saw fire coming out of the ground and their houses started burning. Soon after fire started pouring down from the sky. Finally, an earthquake struck and everything was destroyed. Only Prophet Saleh and his followers were saved from the punishment and they moved to another land where they lived in peace. To learn more about the Prophets, watch out for more Prophet stories in this series.